If you love apples, you're going to absolutely adore today's recipe. Using a simple slow cooker, we're going to take some apples and turn it into the most incredible dessert topping, preserve, jam type substance. You're going to love it. It's beautiful and sweet with a little bit of spice and it's absolutely guaranteed to be addictive. Let's make some beautiful apple butter in the slow cooker on the One Pot Chef. First things first, in order to make our apple butter, we're obviously going to need some apples. I've got one and a half kilograms, or roughly three and a half pounds, of red apples, which I've just peeled, cored, and diced into roughly even pieces. I recommend chopping them up into relatively small pieces and having them all roughly the same size. That way they will cook nice and evenly. Now, don't worry if the apples start to go a little bit brown because when you chop an apple, it goes brown when it gets exposed to the air. Doesn't matter, they're gonna cook anyway, so they're gonna go brown no matter what you do. Now, we're also gonna add in a little bit of salt. It's just about maybe half a teaspoon, roughly. Just a tiny bit there. And that's gonna help to draw the liquid out of the apples as they cook, and it's gonna make them cook better. I'm also going to add in three cinnamon sticks. This is going to add a lovely cinnamon flavour all through this. And I'm also going to add in one cup of water. Now the water is going to help get things going when we switch this on because it's going to help generate steam inside the pot. Now all we need to do is switch this on, put the lid on. We're going to cook this for either four hours on the high setting or eight hours on the low setting. And what you want to do is stop about halfway through to give this a good stir. So take the lid off, give it a bit of a stir, move the apples around, and then put the lid back on and allow it to continue cooking. And once we've finished there, we'll move on to the next step. It's been four hours, and like I said, I stopped after two hours to give it a good stir. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish out these cinnamon sticks which have now given up all their flavour. These apples are lovely and soft so what we're going to do now is we're going to blitz these up. Now I'm using an immersion blender today sometimes called a slender blender we just put it in there and mash it up like that. If you don't have one of those you've just got a normal blender you can scoop the apples out pop it into the blender in batches and blitz it up until it is as smooth and thick as you like. Make sure you're very careful while doing this because you don't want to splash yourself with hot apple. There we go. Now, what we basically got there is just your basic apple sauce, but now we're going to turn this into apple butter. First, we're going to add in our spices. We're going to add in half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and to sweeten this up I'm putting in two-thirds of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Now you want to make sure that brown sugar is really packed into that measuring cup so you get the right amount and just using a spoon we're just going to stir that all together. Once that's mixed in all we need to do is pop on the lid and we're going to cook this again for three hours on high or six hours on low. <coughs> While our apples are cooking away in the slow cooker, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Well, it's been cooking for another three hours on high. And as you can see, that's gone lovely and brown and caramelized. There's still a few little chunks of apple in there. They'll be sweet little nuggets for later, but otherwise our apple butter is done. So all we need to do is start transferring this into some jars. And here we have our completed apple butter looking absolutely sensational. Now, once it's in the jars, all you need to do is leave it to cool on the counter with the lids off until the apple butter is cooled off. Then you can simply put the lids on and place it into the fridge 
for up to 14 days. You can spoon the apple butter over your favourite ice cream. You could also put it over cake or baked puddings. You could dollop it on your favourite scones or pancakes. You can even use it for spreading on toast or on sandwiches. Or just a sneaky little spoonful as you're passing. Absolutely delicious. Uh, apple butter is still quite warm at the moment, but it's definitely safe to eat now. I'm not going to scold myself by putting it into my mouth. Now, this made approximately two full jars, like full regular size jam jars, plus a little bit of extra in this little plastic container, and that's the one I'm going to have a taste of. So, let's have a go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is absolutely sensational. It's smooth and it's sweet and it's got a little hint of spice to it. You can definitely taste the cinnamon and the nutmeg in it. It's not sickly sweet, which is surprising because it's got that brown sugar in it, plus the natural sugars in the apples will caramelise as they cook down. It's actually really, really smooth and it's really, really tasty. I can definitely see myself spooning this over a bit of ice cream or dolloping on some pancakes. Definitely it's one to try. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. So guys, long time no see. I know I've been terrible with posting videos over the last few months. Um, I wanted to give you just a brief overview of what's been happening because I think it's been a bit of a journey for me and I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from. So as some of you will know, I have a problem with my spine. I have well, actually, I have several problems with my spine, but at the moment, the major issue is osteoarthritis in the lower half of my spine. I've had it for about 15 years, and osteoarthritis, as many of you will know, is degenerative in nature. It just gets worse and worse. There's very little in the way of treatment. There's definitely no cure at the moment. So over the last 15 years, I've been sort of slowly experiencing more and more symptoms, but over the last six to 12 months, I've been having increasing problems with mobility, particularly with standing and walking. Um, I'm no longer able to walk or stand for more than a couple of minutes at a time without serious pain and really being sort of required to just sit down or lie down. So making videos like this has become very, very difficult. As you can see at the moment, I'm actually sitting down. I'm now making my videos mostly sitting down now, which is quite a complicated feat in a kitchen. Um, but I've sort of given myself some time to try and sort of try to sort of get into a good condition to sort of actually sort of get back to making videos. And now that I have to sort of do it in a completely different way, uh, it's quite difficult. And so I'm sort of working my way through it at the moment. And so the first few videos coming back are probably going to be more on the basic side of things that are a little bit easy to do. So we'll have a few sweets to come on over the next few weeks, but eventually I want to work my way up to getting to a bit more complicated stuff. But once I've actually learned how to do videos that way, because one thing is cooking sitting down, but actually setting up cameras and lighting and tripods and stuff like that, and having to do it all while sitting down is quite complex. So I'm slowly getting there. I'm sort of retraining myself in how to make videos, but I'm doing quite well so far. I've been looking after myself and I'm doing well at the moment. So thank you very much for all your messages of support. I know you guys have been hoping for more videos recently and hopefully now that I'm back, I'll be able to do something a bit more frequently and I'm getting there. I've got several videos planned out, ready to go. So I'm looking forward to sharing those with you. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Lots of love to you all and I shall see you soon.